But before we leave here, from the bottom of my heart here on the Commonwealth Picker channel, I want to say thank you all for watching us for the last year. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. That's the last time I'm going to say that in here. I shouldn't say last, you just never know what's going to happen. But today is the last show, this show, inside the Commonwealth cabin here, inside the eBay cave in there, that we are going to be on the Commonwealth Picker channel. So many of you have gone over to the other channel. We really do appreciate that. On Monday, you're going to see your first, like, what sold video and me yapping like I usually do and the homeschool hustlers and all the stuff that goes on on this show in this cabin is going to be over there on the Commonwealth flipper channel and we're excited about it we have ramped that one up we've been planning on this for a long time and my hope is i go to garage when i go to garage sales on saturday mornings i am there all day most of the time well, i shouldn't say all day i'm there a long time and we have enough as you saw by as many videos as we did all winter long and on into this uh, quarantine or whatever it is you want to call it we just kept putting out videos so my hope is on the other channel I'll be able to put out one to two videos on that channel and that is my hope I really enjoy those videos they're fun I absolutely love going to garage sales you know people talk about buying pallets and doing wholesale and all these different ways you can make money on eBay and on Amazon and I am all for all of those things the problem is if I did that I would be overwhelmed with merchandise and when I'm out doing garage sales, I couldn't buy and that is therapeutic for me. I absolutely love doing that and I know a lot of you who watch this show also love to do that. You just love to be out there. You love to see people and see nature and see things and houses and yards and stuff and mountains and rivers, all that stuff. That's me. That's what I love to do on Saturday mornings and that's why I don't do all that other stuff because I love doing that. And I can't wait to get out there and do more of it and show you all what we find. So at any rate, thanks for joining us on the Commonwealth Picker channel. And please come back every single Sunday, probably. Maybe Sunday and Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. But definitely tomorrow, we're going to have a great new garage sale video on the Commonwealth Picker channel. And I'd appreciate it if you join us. Let's take a look at what's sold today. All right, this was bought almost a year ago at the Joyous Junk Sale. It did not look all that wonderful when I took a picture of it. Here's a little hint for you. If you're ever selling a bag, fill it full of stuff. Usually what I do is I fill it with jeans that I haven't listed yet, or maybe, I don't know, I have a sleeping bag back there, a strawberry shortcake sleeping bag. I fill the thing up so it looks big and full. Even if you have paper or those air pillows or whatever it is you need to make something look full when you sell it, because this doesn't look all that presentable here. But if you'll see, it is a 1996 Gatorade bag. And I saw that and it was 50 cents. I'm like, I gotta pick it up, even though it had some rusting on it and it's not in perfect shape. I could have cleaned the rusting up, but I didn't. I just left it and listed it as it is because it was at the bottom of my death pile. And I really wanna get through that stuff. At any rate, it is a cool bag. It's in structurally good condition, no big deal. It's just a vintage Gatorade bag. Some people I think had Kobe Bryant listed on their listing. There's only a couple of them out there. I don't think that looks like Kobe Bryant to me. And I certainly don't think Gatorade got him under contract to do this stuff. So I didn't list it that way, but the one who did got more money for theirs. If this was in great shape, I would have asked probably 40 bucks for it, but I didn't. I asked 15 because I didn't go through the whole struggle of cleaning all of the little metal pieces and the little bits of rust on it. And I just said, hey, it's in good shape. Showed some close-ups and sold it. 14.95 plus shipping. I'm going to grab you a little earlier than I usually do because I forgot something over here. So I figured we'll just show you over there and I'm going to show you this hat as well. All right. This was bought by a viewer. They left a message. I think I don't think they left it on the messaging uh, system as they bought it, but I think they sent me another message. So I'm going to look at that in just a second, but I want to show you this. I think the name is Julie. So Julie, thank you so much. And I remember you writing a nice kind note and thank you for that as well. Commercial steel erection. You know, my kids watch this show every now and again, so I'm not going to do too much commentary on that. But uh, Made in the USA. I think this came in, I'm 99% sure, Julie, this came in the Cincinnati Picker hat lot that we did. And I think if you type in Commonwealth Picker, Cincinnati Picker, you'll probably come up with a couple of videos. I used his name in a thumbnail 
four and this would be one of them we did a giveaway and then there'd be another one where we went through the hats that he sent us where we did the giveaway of his hat so that's a pretty cool vintage hat and it sold for 19 dollars free shipping and julie snatched that thing up and i really like it so it's uh you know it is vintage it's not in perfect condition but you know sometimes if you're wearing vintage hats you want them to look vintage you don't want them to look brand new and so to have the inside of the hat still in pretty good shape and definitely clean it's pretty good for hats like that all right second thing is over here and we sold some wii games here and these three are also going out to julie so julie thank you so much for your purchase we do appreciate it hey i saw i read this really quick to you mama bird mommy bird mommy bird 80 that's julie's uh, store name at any rate, she says that uh, her and her husband, they have a uh, death storage unit. And uh, I think uh, R Richmond, Virginia, they said uh, I was more than welcome to come on and uh, take some of it off their hands and make a bulk purchase and sell it. So anyway, maybe someday, Julie uh, and Patrick. So thank you so much. It's a little bit far away for me, but uh, I'll make it up there someday. All right, and we have a Twisted Radio Waves CD going out. If you've been around the show, I bought a thousand of these for 10 bucks and we're down to... Uh, this is interesting. This one, I was counting the doubles. I think we're down to about 580 is, uh, is, is what we're down to. So it's Jerry Garcia, Dr. Demento, Twisted Radio Wave, $6.61. Going off to Rhonda, and she says, we're a couple we're a couple who love to watch your channels, plural, awesome, thanks so much, and adorable kiddos. I think my husband will enjoy this. So we hope he does, Rhonda. We do appreciate it, and, and thanks for watching both channels. You may remember me buying these in a garage sale. We were down in Roanoke. It was from last year, but I think we posted it maybe three or four weeks ago. And I made a comment about a, a woman. She had so many, so many kids shoes. I mean, tubs full of kids shoes. I said, how many kids do you have? Anyway, these are in great shape. And they sold two bucks is what we paid. These sold for $16.99 free shipping. They're first class, easy. These are less than eight ounces when we put them in the right size box. Let me show you the right size box. These will go in a six by four by four, I think. Really close. Yep, I think they're gonna get in that box. If not, we'll have to go in an eight by six by four, or maybe a five by five by five. But I don't think they're long enough. Five inches too small for those. So we have those boxes in the affiliate marketing. People always ask, if you don't wanna to go to those affiliate marketing links, just type in six by four by four in eBay or Amazon, and, and you can find them that way. So I love those boxes. We've been using them now just for a few months. Been using the 4x4x4s forever, the 5x5x5s forever, 8x6x4s for quite a while as well. But I really like that 6x4x4 box. So let's do the math on this. So $16.99, let's subtract what we paid and fees and shipping. So it's free shipping. So 17 bucks to start with. We'll say it's uh, $2 for the purchase, which is what we paid. We'll say 3 bucks for fees, even though it's not quite that much. And we'll say $4 for shipping. It may be just a tiny bit more, depending on where it's going. And so that brings us to a grand total of $9. So this is going to be about an $8 profit for these little shoes. So it's not bad. I pick them up. I usually won't pay more than 2 3 I might pay 5 if it's a really, really nice pair or if they're like brand new. And these are close to that. I bought this last Saturday, and this is going to uh, be on a video tomorrow on this channel, the Garage Sale channel. You'll see me buy this. I can't remember what I paid. I might have paid uh, a dollar for it. I might have bundled it together with a couple others, so it may be a little more or a little less. In Living Colors Season 2, this takes me way back. This was one of those shows that my dad watched all the time that my mom didn't like him watching, but we got to watch it because he watched it, so... <laughs> we loved it. It was funny. Boy, some of them are hilarious. The Jim Carrey characters sometimes make me laugh. Boy. And then the uh, Jamaican one makes me laugh too about, I have seven jobs, man. I, have se I feel like that sometimes. I have seven jobs, man. <laughs> you lazy lima bean. Anyway, this is good stuff. This thing sold for $14.71. It is free shipping, but it'll go out medium mail. So it's not a really big profit in there, but there's some money in there for us. Hey, we had a Mercari sale, so Beach Body. So that's why I listed it on Mercari. <laughs> Hip Hop Abs, brand new, sealed, $12 for this one. I'm not sure what I did with shipping on this, to be honest with you. I do my own shipping. I don't do the Mercari shipping. I just ship stuff. When I sell it on Mercari, I ship it through Pirate Ship, and it gets me a little bit extra money rather than doing it through Mercari because their prices are a little bit higher than what I can get usually on Pirate Ship. So I did this one on Mercari because it's Beach Body. 
And you can get away selling Beachbody on eBay a lot, but I don't even want to fool with it half the time. So we just uh, went ahead and did it on Mercari. All right, we're taking you down again because we had a viewer kind enough to send us another plate and it showed up in the P.O. box today in Bedford. My wife went to the post office and picked everything up today because she had to go to the grocery store and get us some food to eat because we're running low. Bubba's been eating like crazy lately. All right, so we have a Kentucky plate that came from Mike the Kentucky Picker. And I don't think that's a YouTube name. That looks like an eBay store name. Kentucky underscore picker one wrote a really nice note and he said he wouldn't be offended because he said it was dirty and not in great shape and if we didn't put it up we are definitely going to put that thing up i don't mind dirty <laughs> i don't mind old and not in great shape that thing looks cool he said it was on one of his old farm trucks and he uh thanked us for all the great videos and answering his questions and mike thank you Thank you for watching us. We appreciate you. So this thing's awesome. Little 4-H club, agriculture, the FFA. You know, I live in rural Virginia and my father-in-law is a farmer, but I am not used to this stuff till I moved back here and uh, married my uh, beautiful bride. I grew up in Southern California and this was like the farthest thing. Although my grandfather had a, had a, had, I wouldn't call him a farmer. All of my uncles can attest to that. But he did have chickens and some cows and some pigs, even out there in Southern California. So, anyway, Reagan must have got some of that gene from both of her grandpas, I think. This is a sweet-looking one. We do have Kentucky plates, but none of them are a skew yet, I don't think. There's one there. Let's see. We got that one right there. Have that one there. I think we have one right there. So We do have some Kentucky plates. I think what we're going to do, actually... Not to get you dizzy, is we're going to put it right there. We don't have one on that bin. Either that or maybe up there. I haven't quite decided yet. All right, and there's one more item here i got to pull out of this bin. Or I should say this drawer. And I think this one is the Tesla picker drawer. That's where I keep a lot of the board game parts. There it is right there. It's a Lord of the Rings ring. It's a metal one. A lot of the games have plastic ones, but the metal ones come. I think the metal games are going to be one of two. This one came out of a Risk board game, Lord of the Rings Risk. But I think the Trivial Pursuit one is also metal. So when I get these, either of those games, they're, they're almost identical rings. I list it as Trivial Pursuit ring or Risk ring. And then I sell the rest of the parts to the game. If I can get them cheap enough. A lot of times the Risk game and the Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings, if they're all there and intact, you're better off selling it all together. But if anything is missing at all, I'll part it out. So that ring right there, Lord of the Rings. Ring. $10.90 free shipping. All right, we're going to head on into the eBay cave for just a minute. Let's see what's sold in there. Hey, first Hawaiian shirt of the season. This thing is wonderful right here. Look at pineapples. Love it. Rain Spooner. This is definitely vintage. It says designed, it's it's 100% rayon, designed in Hawaii and tailored in Korea. So it's not made in Hawaii, but it is still a nice one and it is still vintage. And it sold for $25 free shipping. So it's not amazing if it's made in Hawaii, it's a little bit better. But I was talking about Rain Spooners the other day, R-E-Y-N, Spooner, Spoon, E-R. And you know, it's no San Marcos blanket. You part-time picker fans out there. But I love to pick these up, and I find them a lot more than you would think in Southwest Virginia. All right, having in a man going out to Virgil. And Virgil, we do appreciate it. He said he got a coffee mug and figured he better get one of these before they run out. 355 left out of 1,500. So thank you, Virgil. We do appreciate it. We hope they get some things moving in your store. Thanks so much. Hey, we sold a bag of vintage watches. Nothing amazing here. Timex, Sharp. Just some old watches, nothing special. I did look up all of them, especially this one that had this uh, stones set in right here. But really nothing amazing here at all. $10.81 plus shipping on these. Just saw a Facebook Marketplace come across for a uh, record player that I'm selling. I just took it down to the antique booth. Antique booth. <laughs> have like a vintage media booth is really what I have for one of them anyways. All right, this one is going off to Walter, and Walter says, you do a great job with your YouTube videos. I've been meaning to pick one of these up for a while, and after today's show, I said today was the day. <laughs> he says, I 100% respect the efforts uh, you do with your kids and with reselling. 
My father had me selling vacuums at the flea market and working in his vacuum store starting around age eight. No vacuums these days, mostly DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, games, and my eBay store for the last 15 years. You and other YouTubers have opened my eyes to many other products. Regards, Walter. So, WB Chemist is the name for the store. So thank you so much. And you've been selling a while. I can see by that feedback score, you must sell a lot of DVDs out there, Walter. So maybe you don't need any help moving things out of your store. But if you do, I hear this guy works out pretty well. Thanks. I try not to pick up polo shirts anymore unless they're like dirt cheap or free. Or if there's something unique about them. There's nothing unique about this except for it's 100% Pima cotton. And so when I find the Pima cotton ones, even at the Goodwill, I usually pick them up because they're they sell around twenty bucks. This one sold for eighteen dollars and forty one cents, free shipping, and it's an XL. So pick them up if they're Pima. Not a bad sale. Last but not least is this kids North Face jacket. It has a couple minor issues if I remember. Can't find them right off the bat, but it sold for twenty one dollars and forty one cents plus shipping it is a strange time to sell it but it is a good deal so somebody got a nice deal 22 bucks plus shipping for a north face kids jacket all right we are going to go out and check out the sales in the homeschool hustler store i think we have two today one to a viewer and one not to a viewer but before we leave here from the bottom of my heart here on the commonwealth picker channel i want to say thank you all for watching us for the last year and we're going to sign out over here and go into that Commonwealth cabin. And next time we see you down here, we'll be on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Don't forget to tune in, though, to the garage sale on Sunday. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. All right, we got two Homeschool Hustler store sales. That's a Lego diner set, Turner. And Blue Ridge Mama listed that one. And she listed that one. She made some money for you. And I took pictures of that one and listed it. I thought maybe Reagan would have fun doing them trolls. But... She was doing something else. I can't remember what you were doing at the time. So I ended up taking pictures of those trolls and putting them in your store. So maybe you're going to have to help us ship. Although Blue Ridge Mama already put these in a box, so I can't look at them. Maybe I'll throw in a picture. $17.95 plus shipping for that Lego diner. And Reagan, that one sold, I think, it sold to a viewer. It sold to Barbara. Can you all tell Barbara thank you? Thank you, Barbara. Barbara was one of the very first people to buy something off of us, I think. So thank you, Barbara. And that sold for 19 No, I take it back. It sold for $9.95 plus shipping for that one. So we are well into the profit. Well, not well into the profit. We've sold four trolls so far. We've probably profited about 10 bucks, And you're going to see the trolls on tomorrow's video. And I probably should have bought them all. But that's all right. We're still going to make some good money. And I picked out some good ones. So, all right. Say goodbye. Bye. Hey, do me a favor, y'all. Say, go over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel if you haven't already done it. Go over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel, channel if you haven't already. If you haven't already. Uh, I mean, who can resist that, y'all? <laughs> hey, thanks so much, and we'll see you over there next Monday. Bye.